In this question, we are given that A and B are two students. Their chances of solving a problem correctly are 1 over 3 and 1 over 4 respectively. If the probability of their making a common error is 1 over 20 and they obtain the same answer, then find the probability of their answer to be correct. Now, if you think about what the situation here is, two students working on the same problem can get the same answer if they both have done it correctly or if they both have done incorrectly, right? And therefore, one can start with the assumption that we have two events, E1 and E2. E1 where A and B both have answered correctly and E2, A and B answer incorrectly. With that, we can have a related event S that A and B get the same answer. So what do you think probability of E1 is going to be? Probability of E1 that is probability of A answers correctly and B answers correctly. Now A and B answering correctly and solving the problem is an independent event situation and therefore we have the product of the two probabilities that is product of probability of A answer correctly and probability of B answer correctly giving us the probability of E1 and therefore we have 1 over 3 into 1 over 4 that's 1 over 12 as probability of E1. Okay. So now what do we have as probability of E2? Probability of E2 that is probability of A answers incorrectly and B answers incorrectly. Again, they are independent events and therefore the answer would be that is the value of probability of E2 will be probability of A answers incorrectly into probability of B answers incorrectly. Now probability of A answers incorrectly is nothing but 1 minus probability of A answers correctly, right? And therefore, you have probability of E2, 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 1 by 4. Simplifies to be 1 by 2. Okay, so, so far, we have E1 and E2 defined. S is the related event that A and B get the same answer. We have probability of E1 and probability of E2. So, are you thinking on the lines of Bayes' theorem? you know that they get the same answer. So we know that S has happened. And can you find what the probability of S is given that E1 has happened and probability of S that E2 has happened? When I say probability of S given that E1 has happened, what we are thinking about is finding the probability that A and B get the same answer given that they both answer correctly. Isn't that what it would be? So how much is this number going to be? What is this probability? A and B get the same answer when it is given that they answered correctly. Isn't that a sure event? Exactly. And therefore this probability is going to be 1. How about probability of S given that E2 has happened? That is probability of A and B get the same answer given that they both answer incorrectly. So theoretically, this would turn out to be the same as that A and B must have done the same error. And therefore, the value of this probability will be 1 over 20 because it's given to be so. So we have now everything that we need to find the unknown. So what was the unknown? The question said you have to find the probability of the answer to be correct when they had obtained the same answer. That is, we are now looking at finding probability of E1 given that S has happened. And therefore, we can use the Bayes theorem which says that probability of E1 given that S has happened is same as probability of S given that E1 has happened into probability of E1 whole thing divided by probability of S given that E1 had occurred into probability of E1 plus probability of S given that E2 had occurred into probability of E2. I have the values of each of these probabilities. We put in these values and end up with our answer 
as 10 over 13. And therefore, for the question that we were looking at, that is how to find the probability of their answer to be correct when it is given that they both have obtained the same answer, we have the solution as that the probability of the answers of A and B to be correct given that they obtained the same answer is 10 over 13.